What's up everybody, DG here today to do yet another review, and I'm still having problems with this tripod, I might have to buy a new one, but anyway, um, here to do another review on the Star Wars Imperial Death Trooper from the Rogue One Wave that just hit stores, and this was the figure that I wanted most outside of the exclusives from the normal run, this is the one I wanted most, that uh, stand, that Beach Trooper, whatever it's called, is pretty, pretty nice, but anyway, the one thing I am looking forward to in row one is all the new all the designs we're gonna see I think all the stuff they've shown so far looks awesome I love how creative they've gotten with the design and this is no exception the Imperial Death Trooper looks awesome um, take a look of course you got the Star Wars medallion here you got uh, the Death Trooper in the package right there the Death Trooper medallion right here you see it says Star Wars Imperial Death Trooper uh, you got the window panel right here you got the Star Wars information right there, number 25 right there. You got the Imperial Death Trooper, so if you want a read-up right there, go ahead and look at that. And then you got legal information down here and down here, and then the red brick panel right here. You see number 25, Imperial Death Trooper. And bang, bang. There's that. And uh, let's crack him open and get into it. And here is the Death trooper out of the packaging and I gotta say I really like this figure now I'll always start off with the biggest complaint and you'll probably know what I'm saying is Hasbro where are our double jointed elbows this is getting ridiculous we still have them on the Marvel figures you're getting less I mean you've you've been putting more in the Marvel figures with like effects and stuff and you, we get with the Star Wars figures, and you still can't give us double jointed elbows, man. Like, come on, bro. Come on. But anyway, taking a look at the Death Trooper, you get pretty much a straight black package. You got some silver right here. You got some grayish right here. You got some gray right here on the helmet, and then all black, all black, all black. So it's a shiny black with some darker black in for the undersuit, and yeah. It has kind of a nice glossy black paint on it. Um, they did look like it missed right there. That's the one thing I noticed. So that kind of sucks. But that's not a big complaint. Uh, articulation wise this guy for a uh, Death Trooper isn't too bad. I mean I actually kind of like the articulation. You get a very decent look up right there. You get a good look down. Um, you get a neck swivel. You don't get much of any pivot at all so that kind of sucks uh, <clears throat> for the arms I will give one credit I will give to Hasbro is they made the shoulder pads out of a softer pliable material which I don't think they did on any past stormtroopers that I remember I know it wasn't on the first order one but you can see it bends where it's going but I'd be too careful you don't want to knock it off I mean it looks like it's pretty sturdy but you don't want to knock it off but you get a nice bend out out to here then you can go all the way around you go bend out, out to here you get like I said the stupid single jointed elbow you get the single jointed elbow you get no bicep rotation but you do get rotation at the elbow and then you get uh, wrist rotation like so and a hinge back and forth and you can see he has trigger fingers right here and trigger fingers right here on the other arm and the other arm does all the same cool stuff that I just showed you uh, for the waist you get an ab crunch that's not very crunchy <laughs> like so you get more back than you do front which is weird I've always thought you do get a little you do get side to side like so and then you do get rotation um, it don't look like he moves at the waist, or looks like he's supposed to, but I don't, maybe not. So you don't get any movement at the waist, it looks like, even though it really does look like he's supposed to. But uh, I'm not trying to break it. You can see I'm, you can see I'm trying pretty hard here. I'm not trying to break him because I really like this figure. But so you get no waist movement. Uh, belt don't move at all. Or belt moves, I guess. Hmm, weird. Anyway, so belt moves. Uh, you do get the splits out to like here. You do get 
a very good kick up. You can see the pouches on his belt move with the leg so you can get a very nice kick up. That's 90 degree right there. That's certified 90. Certified by me, of course. Uh, you don't, you get uh, thigh rotation like so. You get double jointed knees like so. You don't get an upper thigh rotation or anything like that. But and you don't get, uh, you don't get uh calf rotation geez forgetting everything but you do get ankles that go back and forth and beautiful ankle pivot and you can see my fucking camera is just god i hate this thing almost i'm sorry like i think i'm gonna have to go get a new tripod i thought this one would work better than my last one but obviously it's not working better at all now this is like way too high but oh well um and then you get pickles at the bottom of the feet, of course. Uh, sorry about that. Um, you do get uh, you do get two blasters. Here's his long blaster, like so, and it's pretty much a flat silver, flat uh, gray. You get a silver thing right there. And then you get a red mark right there, and that's about it. And it came a little bit out of the package, but I'm sure you heat it up, it'll be good. And you can put that in the hand like so. You can see the trigger finger goes in there and everything too, and it's going to survive the shake test. Uh, and then you do get a little pistol blaster submachine gun maybe thing like so. Just the flat silver. I believe this is the one that's supposed to go in the holster. I'm not sure though. This holster is kind of weird to me. I'm not really sure what's supposed to go in there. I don't even know how the thing's supposed to get in there. I guess like this maybe so yeah that looks probably about right so, yeah anyway the death trooper stands at about six and a half inches tall yeah now this tripod's like way too fucking high up and here he is next to some other storm troopers and stuff like that. He is next to the regular uh, storm trooper. Like so, you can see he's a little bit taller than the regular storm trooper. He is next to a uh, force, uh, force awakened storm trooper. Uh, he is next to Finn as a storm trooper. And here he is next to Captain Phasma. You can see Phasma is about the same height as him. <clears throat> and here he is next to the other figure of this review of this wave that I reviewed in KS or K2S0. You can see K2S0 is pretty much way taller than him. If you want to watch the review on KS250, uh, click click the link below take you right to it other than that i want to thank you guys for watching this review if you liked it please hit the subscribe button uh please hit the like button please comment please share do you all that cool stuff um uh always follow me on my social media sites that's at dgtpr on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll have pictures of this guy up on facebook at some point uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. I'm DG, and me and my death trooper are gonna go deathing. Later.